Today we're gonna to be making one of the most requested recipes on keto, chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna be bringing in this into 2024 and testing a viral hack, which is called the crookie. The crookie originated in Paris and it's basically a cross between a croissant and chocolate chip cookies. When I started seeing this trend popping up on TikTok and on Instagram, I did feel kind of left out until I remembered we can have low net carb croissants because Hero makes them and they are the sponsor of this video. So as you guys know, Sarah and I have talked about these buttery, delicious, flaky croissants before on our channel. And they are back for a limited time. There are endless ways that you could use these croissants, but honestly, one of the best ways is to just defrost it, bake it at 425 degrees for five minutes, and then slather it in butter. These croissants have 10 grams of protein, two grams of net carbs, zero grams of sugar, and 20 grams of fiber. These croissants have hundreds of five-star reviews and a 15,000 person wait list. And these croissants are carefully made by a French bakery located in Sonoma, California. And while you go to buy these limited release croissants, make sure to check out their tortillas, sliced breads, and buns. By the way, they freeze beautifully. Sarah and I buy in bulk and freeze them, and then we just take them out as needed. Right now, Hero is offering our community 10% off orders $50 or more. Click our special link linked in the description and use code KETOTWINS and you're gonna get that discount. Thanks so much to Hero for sponsoring this video. We love you and let's get started making the crookie. So we found this recipe, maybells.com. We're gonna be leaving a link to this recipe in the description below so you can get all of the measurements. We're just gonna be quickly trying this and going through it today. So we're gonna be cooking the keto cookies by themselves just to see how they turn out. Sarah and I have never made keto chocolate chip cookies on our channel, I don't think, have we? No, I don't no. think so. 400 videos, we're finally getting to this recipe. <laughs> and then we're gonna be using that same dough to make the crookie with the hero croissants. Anyway. She well, keeps on touching it with her nose. Put that aside, put your name on it. So for this recipe, you're gonna be needing almond flour, baking soda, salt, baking powder, xanthan gum, unsalted butter that is softened, your favorite sweetener, she uses golden monk fruit, we're gonna be using brown sugar swerve, vanilla, egg. So she uses dark chocolate chips in this recipe. We're gonna be using milk chocolate. We have a link in our description for these, we love these. And then chopped pecans. We don't have those, so we're using walnuts. Do what you have on hand. No one's gonna judge you. So we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Then you're going to mix in your almond flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and xanthan gum. And you're gonna whisk that together because the xanthan gum should be really like dispersed throughout the other ingredients. Next up, you're gonna take your softened butter and you're gonna cream that together with your sweetener. In our case, we're using brown sugar swerve replacement. <laughs> Goes full blast. That is level one. This is ridiculous. This is a conspiracy. After your butter and your sweetener are creamed together, you're gonna add in the egg and then beat that on low. And then you're gonna add in your almond flour mixture with the xanthan gum, baking soda, baking powder, etc. Mix that all together. And now we're gonna add in our chocolate chips and then our walnuts. One cup. Okay. Better That's like a lot of chocolate okay. chips in your recipe. It's like chocolate. Look how much chocolate chip to the actual batter. Okay. Walnut. I wanna eat this. Don't eat it. It looks really good, but you guys know that we actually made an edible chocolate chip cookie dough out of something really unexpected and it did taste like it. We can leave that video link behind this one. It, I'll just tell you what it is. It was made out of cottage cheese. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> it did taste like it. This is a lot of cookie dough, um, but supposedly this makes about 26 chocolate chip cookies, and they have about one net carb each. Okay, so next up, we are going to be putting this into the refrigerator to chill for 30 minutes. The recipe author really did say that you have to let this chill because you want all the almond flour to absorb everything, and if you don't, it's just not gonna turn out well. So we're gonna follow that because we're not making this video for nothing. So we are going to get our cookie dough out of the fridge. It's been 30 minutes. I'm sure that it's gonna look exactly the same as it went in. Wow, it formed cookies. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start scooping the balls. Wow, it's very hard. I think space them. This is not gonna work as well as yes, it is. Yes, it is. What are you talking about? Oh my God. That's what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, look at it. Wow, this is not gonna make 20 cookies. This is gonna make like six cookies, Sarah. 
I'm worried that these are not going to set properly because she said to make them small and these are big. So I'm gonna cut them in half mold them in my hands, and then we're gonna start baking them. In they go for seven to nine minutes at 350. Keep an eye on it. All right, it's been eight minutes. Let's check on our cookies. Oh, hmm. do you think they're done yet? I think maybe like one or two more minutes. I don't know. They don't seem like golden on the top. They seem golden on the bottom. Okay. Ooh. So since it worked, but they do have to completely cool off. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting together the cookies. So the TikTok or the reel that inspired this whole video was by The Naughty Fork. We'll leave a link to The Naughty Fork in the description below. So what you do is you take your croissant, which is the hero croissant, you let it defrost and thaw if you've been keeping it in the freezer. You're gonna slice it open down the middle with a serrated knife, kind of open it up, and then you're gonna start loading in your cookie dough this is about one cookie's worth of dough in here. So also they put it on the top. Let's just push it down like that. All right. Here is our pre-baked cro crookie? Crookie. Crookie. We're gonna put this in for a little bit longer than we did with our chocolate chip cookies, maybe like 12 minutes or so and see how it does. Oh, it's kind of browning. Oh my gosh, it's slipping because of the butter in there. You see it? Mm. <laughs> We got a cr crookie on the move. So we're gonna let these cool completely on a rack and I'm gonna probably sprinkle it with a little bit of the powdered sweetener that we have. We're gonna probably use powdered twerk and we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it. So here we have the crookie and it looks cooked and it was completely cooled. Even the inside looks cooked. Some people said that if you cook it less, it won't be like cooked on the inside, which, hmm. But some people like that raw cookie dough vibe. Maybe move back and forth like what you do with a knife. That would help you cut it. Ooh. It's crispy. Ooh. Mm. Look at all those layers. It smells good. Mmm. 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 I forgot the powdered allele of the sweetener. I don't think it needs it. Maybe that would be too much, but you can always add that. Wow. Mmm. Yummy. So we have to guesstimate, you know, three, three and a half net carbs. And we're eating only half of it. Right. Each, but wow. The brown sugar swerve really makes it taste like a chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. Legit. And the warming of the croissant. On the inside, divine. the cookie is soft. It's cooked, but it's nice and soft on the inside. Mm. I want some coffee with this. Mm. This is probably one of my favorite desserts <laughs> that we made. <laughs> The savoriness of the croissant mixed with like that sweet chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. I am a big sucker for that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just try a cookie just to see how they turned out. They're not falling apart because they're completely cooled. Really good. Honestly, yeah. I don't think we baked it too long. I was surprised because they kind of look kind of dark on the bottom, but I think that's the perfect cook right there. I don't know if I'd be able to tell if these are keto. They're that good. Mm -hmm. Are you sure we've never made it on our channel? 400 videos later, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Let us know if you guys remember a chocolate chip cookie recipe. Maybe because we thought, oh, it's like so, ba it's like basic. Yeah, sometimes but we go back to basics and mm -hmm. we're shocked and they're basic for a reason. Right, super amazing. I hope you guys will try the Hero Croissants. If you can get them, they're limited. But if you guys miss out on this batch or whatever, they are releasing them monthly, but just sign up for the waiting list because they do sell out. Mm -hmm. And it's just an elite production, this whole thing. All their products come beautifully packaged and it's just a really, we have infiltrators. I have two of my dogs and then this one. <laughs> I remember that these croissants are limited release. So if you guys wanna grab them, they are dropping, I think monthly, but they do sell out. You can use our code Keto Twins, and you're gonna get 10% off your purchase of $50 or more. And if you guys really want to try the viral cookie dough hack, which sounds really weird, but it was really, really good, you can click right here and we will see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are the Keto Twins signing out. This is Charlie. Ugh. You're not getting any. Mwah.